Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of LavaCraft from the Mooncraft server. And we are taking a break from the Mega Base today because we've been spending a lot of time there and we have some work to do in this area over here. In the last episode, we talked about covering up this giant farm and this giant farm. So uh, we need to get to work on that today. Uh, and uh, we also need to kind of put something over this, maybe make a better little pen for our, our foxes here, and uh, really just get some general, you know, paths laid out and some terraforming, yeah, just, just a little light terraforming. Uh, we also have to get some trees finished and installed. I don't know, do you install trees? I guess you can. So we got some work to do. I think we're gonna go ahead and get started with some of the projects that are almost completed. Uh, specifically this here. So we finished a lot of the paths uh, in front and behind of this area. Uh, so this is our little library area. And uh, as you can see, the upper part is really, really uh, leaving some, uh, some, some stuff to be desired, we'll just say. And I am not going to worry too much about the interiors in this episode. Uh, that's probably going to be uh, pretty soon, though, in, in one of uh, future episodes. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. We might get a little bit of interior work done. But I would just like it to kind of look complete from the outside. I think that would make me feel much better, uh, for sure. So, uh, yeah, I think uh, pretty much everything here is, uh, is done, uh, other than it looking pretty. So... Uh, a lot of it, luckily, has already been started. You know, we got this one big tree here. We got a tree over there. Uh, we got a couple trees that just need some leaves. And uh, yeah, I guess we gotta go collect some leaves first. Uh, luckily, we did do a bunch of wood collection. So we have uh, dark oak and spruce logs already. Uh, however, we're gonna need to get some leaves and probably some other stuff. Uh, I think we have some bone meal though, which will help with our, uh, yeah, look at this interior. Uh, which will help with our, our, you know, terraforming. Oh, we got a little bit of bone meal. Uh, we gave all of our bone blocks to Lee's Kate uh, because she's using them for something. I don't know. I think uh, after we do some work here, we might head to the shopping district and get some more work done on one of our shops. Uh, I don't think we'll be opening a new shop, but we really got to get that glass shop up and running. So uh, get excited. Buckle in because today... Hopefully, we'll be finishing the exterior of our seaside village, y'all. So a big problem we have around here is just the uh, massive amount of uh, chests laying around, all the chest monsters and shulker monsters and all that stuff. I mean, just look at this, all this random junk. Uh, yeah, I don't even know, none of this is organized. And we've probably gone out to collect these resources. We probably made mine carts and they're just sitting right here. And yeah, like all of these chests are full of randomness and we could be using this stuff, right? Yeah, so I mean, look at that, look at all that quartz. This is crazy. Uh, luckily, we have a ton of resources laying around. So I don't think we're gonna have to get too much stuff other than leaves, cause I know we need some of those. Uh, we're gonna try and utilize all the junk that we have laying around to uh, make this base look a little bit better. So we're gonna start with the uh, library and I know that we have some smooth stone and uh, spruce palette at the moment, uh, but we've used so much of both of those. I mean, just look at this, look at all these. Look at all these. This is all good stuff just laying around. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, I think uh, we're going to use some uh, different blocks to kind of break it up. So if we have the smooth stone, uh, something that might look good is like stone bricks, I think. Uh, so we'll have to see if we have any of those. Uh, of course, I'm going to pick the one thing we don't have any of. Um, there we go. We got a few, uh, but I'll have to check through all of these random boxes and see if we have addition i mean like two in there wow my goodness can't wait to have a storage system uh that actually stores things properly i guess i'll be right back i'm gonna look through these boxes try and find some resources that we can use for our build and uh, hopefully we won't have to go mining or anything like that i'll be right back so uh, another thing that i really like to utilize when building just in general and something that we we just seem to never have is this stuff right here uh, scaffolding. So we are going to put up a makeshift uh, scaffolding farm, you know, just something, just a couple of bamboo here, let it grow. It kind of can just, it grows pretty fast. Really shouldn't take too long. We'll just throw a chest here. And we've been generating a ton of string from our creeper farm because we haven't spider proofed it. And uh, I knew we would need string, which is why I haven't spider proofed it. Sure, that's why. 
Yeah. All right. Well, we have a mini uh, scaffolding farm started. We got a little bit to work with, but uh, you know what? I uh, I always lose scaffolding. It doesn't matter how much I uh, I make. Uh, I always leave with at least half as less because I go way high up and I move it around and we uh, you know wiggle through it all and then we break it because it's in the way and then it despawns and whatever. It's super cheap. So. As long as you got string and bamboo, very uh, renewable resources for us at the moment, uh, we should be fine. So I have gone through a bunch of our junk chests and collected a ton of resources. I mean, look at this stuff just laying around here. I would have been so happy with this at the very beginning, like all these resources. And now I'm just like, oh, we got so many. We got too many. Well, uh, we're finally going to be putting them to good use on this little build here. Uh, I'm not 100% sure uh, what uh, it's going to look like when we're done, but I guess uh, we can go ahead and get started. Uh, yeah, we'll probably end up needing some more stuff and have to go check through more chests. You know what? Whatever. Let's jump right into time lapse mode. So while we were working on our build and before we go into time lapse mode, uh, we actually uh, got a new server mate, Lil Rusty, and he's trying to get back to the shopping district and he needs an XP grinder. So we are waiting for him to head over to our base so he can use our nether portal and uh, we're going to show him where the end is and the shopping district. Why not? Helping out some new friends. Also, I got him a few rockets and carrots. Why not? Get him started a little bit. I know he has an elytra. He's just got to heal it up. So pretty cool. Cool. Pretty cool. Always exciting to have new friends. All right. Well, uh, I guess I'll be right back as soon as he gets over here and he's pretty close. So I'm sure he'll see my builds. Well, not too shortly after we found Lil Rusty, showed him around our base, offered him the use of our enchantment table, and uh, we also threw him some uh, some rockets and some carrots, like we said. Showed him around how to get to the end, where the shopping district portal is. Really just walked him through the nether, mostly. Uh, yep, and he also said that he was looking for a nice big ocean to start his mega base project, so uh, or his base project. So uh, we showed him where our mega base was and offered him to, uh, you know, pick a plot for uh, his his uh, his masterpiece. And I showed him the beginning stages of mine. Uh, obviously, it's kind of a shell of a of a build at the moment, but it's pretty pretty massive. It's just a lot of landscaping. So uh, we showed him around. Uh, there's a lot of uh, free real estate in the ocean near this area. I think the only other person in the close vicinity is Emmeline. Yep, but uh, we offered him to be neighbors and he thought that idea was cool. So I think he's gonna set up shop somewhere somewhere pretty close. Uh, so we also showed him the blaze farm. In case he needs any blaze rods, I thought, uh, you know, that's always uh, that's always easy, easy fuel, especially at the beginning stages of the game. Uh, and we also decided to show him around the guardian farm. Uh, another source of XP that is uh, much more dangerous. So I did warn him this was going to be a dangerous trip uh, because the gas keep blowing up all the glass. We really, really need to spawn proof this. Um, and uh, unfortunately, we might have hit a little bit of a snag on the blue ice pathway. So uh, we need we we really need to spawn proof because these these uh, zombified piglins. Well, let's just say they uh, they got in the way. I didn't realize that little Rusty had gotten out of the boat. I started to glitch out a bit, and uh, when I finally got out of the boat, I tried to kill him, and I killed little Rusty instead. Knocked him into lava, and yeah. Luckily, uh, something we have here on the server, the death crates. So uh, he didn't lose any of his gear, and I had to uh, bridge out over the lava to uh, reclaim all of his stuff. Uh, fortunately. Uh, because he had quite a bit of good stuff on him. Uh, like I said, he's moving fast. He's got a lot of uh, a lot of good stuff. But um, we got that back to him and uh, apologized. Uh, yeah. Uh, so we got to teach him about the death crates, I guess. Uh, so that's one plus, and uh, he was he was pretty cool with it. But um, yeah, sorry, little rest. He didn't mean to push you in lava. Luckily, the rest of the adventure on the blue ice pathway did not go too bad. Uh, but you might not notice, but I did when I was going through this tunnel that a gas blew a fireball at the corner of the blue ice path. So that was that was dangerous. Uh, so I showed him where the guardian farm was if he wants to try and use that for XP. Uh, I definitely probably recommend the enderman farm at this stage because the killing mechanism, it needs some work for sure. Uh, but yeah, with the, the path back was a, a lot less crazy um, but you can see right here we almost flew off the end of this corner here 
Uh, but yeah, we, we survived. And uh, I had to uh, had to had to leave. So uh, we said farewell to our new friend, and uh, we we apologized once more for pushing him in lava. But uh, it was fun meeting him, and I think it's going to be a great time having him on the server. So welcome to Mooncraft, little Rusty. So where were we? That was a big distraction. Oh yeah, I forgot. It's time for time lapse mode. So that quick little time lapse uh, actually took quite a bit of time, but you know what? I think it's looking okay. Uh, I moved the tree that was down here up on top of this hill uh, because I think it just creates a better uh, scene when you look over there because this tree was just kind of blocking all of this and uh, we definitely need to do something with this area right here uh, but uh, we'll get to that we'll get to that anyways uh, so let's start with the library we put some pretty basic like uh, walls up uh, and uh, yeah so it's looking it's looking okay. <laughs> it's just looking okay. So like I said previously, we're not worried too much about the interiors in today's episode. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. All right. But uh, we did do a little bit of redesign on the inside. Uh, over here on this side of it, uh, you can still see the redstone. I don't know if we're going to cover that up or not, um, but I am floating. There we go. Um, so you can see we have like an open air area with a little balcony you can come out on and you can hear the, the pistons firing away on the sugarcane farm. Uh, it's pretty cool. You got another little balcony right here so you can look at the sugarcane, uh, go down the, the water slides. Cool. And then uh, I guess we missed this. Uh oh. We got to fix that. So I guess it's not completely done, but uh, this is actually a pretty nice view for a window. Uh, not too bad. And then if you come over here, we have another little balcony where you can kind of just come out and see. Uh, but yeah, I think it uh, definitely lends itself to a pretty uh, pretty nice looking interior uh, for an up upper floor of a library. Uh, and instead of uh, utilizing this ladder uh, all the time, I thought it might make more sense to have a staircase. I mean, it's a library. You don't climb a lot of ladders in libraries. Well, I don't know. I've never been to every library, so I can't really say, but I've never uh, been to a library with a ladder. The uh, bottom floor interior has already been done previously, and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. And like we just found out, we, we didn't completely finish it. Uh, another thing we said we wanted to work on was a little pen for our foxes. So we built this little this little cave, cove, cave thingy where the tree sits on top of, and I thought it was kind of fun. Uh, so we had all our little sleeping baby foxes in there, super cute, uh, and they won't be going anywhere until we need them. We ended up uh, just running with this uh, bamboo thing. I mean, uh, I do need bamboo periodically, so we're just gonna leave a chest full of string over here, and we'll collect the bamboo over here and just kind of cut it down when we need it, just like that. And uh, yeah, so now we just have some bamboo. We don't need a fully automatic bamboo farm right now. Uh, it's just not necessary yet, uh, unless we wanna create some easy fuel. Uh, but for the time being, I think this should be plenty. All right, well, we can close that up. And the other little thing that we finished up is the uh, decoration for the cow farm. We got some little cows hanging out over here with the, with the wheat blocks and stuff. And yeah, super cool. Uh, and then if you come in here, I like the, the little uh, entrance way we made for it. It's pretty fun. Uh, yeah, you can just kind of go upstairs to the uh, actual breeding chamber for the cows. You just pop them up in the water or pop them down, whatever you want to do. And uh, yeah, and make, make some make some uh, steak and some leather. Super fun. And uh, it turned out okay. It turned out okay. Yep, so uh, this area is pretty much done. We got one window to install. Uh, and we have to get the leaves on this tree. Uh, but I'm going to be saving that for, you know, a, a minute because... Uh, we need some leaves. <laughs> we need some leaves, and they're not the most fun to collect. Uh, luckily, we do have uh, the netherite hose now, and those help quite a bit with leaf collection, but uh, yeah. So uh, next, I think we're going to have to head over to this area. As you can see, all this hidden lighting and landscaping. Can't really see all those uh, torches around. Well, there's really no torches. But then you come over here, and there's torches galore. Not really a lot of landscaping, and some very unfinished, uh, yeah builds. I mean, this is kind of an eyesore. Uh, I don't know how much of that we can actually cover up. Uh, I, I'm going to try and get all of it covered up, 
but it's going to be such a massive build. I mean, it is quite a bit of a, uh, yeah, I mean, it's going to be bigger than like everything else, minus the melon and pumpkin farm. Well, I don't know. Might be bigger. We'll see. So I was thinking maybe some kind of uh, tower or giant house, but uh, we really, we really got to do some thinking on that, I guess. Uh, um, and uh, you know what? We we really don't have a collection system in place for the iron. And uh, you know what? Let's go check it out. So right now, all the iron golems, uh, you know, bits are just kind of getting stuck in these hopper chains. Uh, I know it's backed up at some point. Yeah, look at that. We got tons and tons of iron that just needs to be crafted into blocks. Uh, this one double chest is definitely not enough. We also need to feed those poppies through a filtering system so that we can uh, create some bone meal. Uh, for that's like our fourth bone meal farm. I don't know if we're gonna get to that today. Today is all about exterior decoration, so we're gonna jump right into that. But before we do so, I think little Rusty actually is in need of something, so we're gonna go uh, visit him and drop some stuff off. Uh, he's moving quick. Uh, today is actually the next day uh, after we showed him around the server just a little bit and pushed him into lava by accident. Sorry, little Rusty. Uh, so he is in need of some stone, so we're gonna drop that off. Uh, he's actually purchasing it uh, for two time blocks per shulker uh, it is quite a bit of stone so uh, i think we got about five shulkers so we're gonna go uh check out his base uh and uh like i said he's gonna be one of our neighbors over at our mega base so uh it'd be be a good thing to help out a neighbor all right let's go find him so i think we found the area yep there he is all right All right, awesome. Thanks, little Rusty. Well, uh, that was a, a pretty good business deal. Just uh, let me know if you need any more. Awesome. Well, thanks, neighbor. I'll see you next time. And we're off. Thanks, little Rusty. Excited to see what you come up with. Oh, look, I forgot. Uh, Emmeline is right over here. So we got a few neighbors. Sweet. Right next, next to our mega base. Pretty cool. So now that we got that little business out of the way, it is time to head back to the base and get one last project done. I thought we had more time in today's episode than we actually did. So, oh, what's that over there? I don't know. Anyways, uh, it is time to get to the last part of the episode where we will be overhauling a little bit of that iron farm exterior. And uh, yeah, it was setting up for the future because we are running out of time. So let's get to one last time-lapse mode. What do you guys think? I thought that was a pretty uh, fancy little thing we did there. And if you guys noticed, I did have to change the orientation of the arms. And no, it's not because I am left-handed, but it's because uh, it was kind of blocking the face. And he, I just thought it looked better from pretty much every angle. Uh, when you're flying around my base, you can kind of see it a little bit better. So it looks a little awkward, but if you don't think about it, you know, not a big deal. Uh, obviously, we need to fill in some stuff here, and I don't want it to be a giant gray box, so I have to do a little bit of thinking about what we're going to do with that. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm just happy that it's not as much of an eyesore. I think it looks pretty cool, and I, I definitely feel a lot safer with uh, the Mega Java Lava Craft hanging out up there. Look at them, super cool. And uh, let's see how close I got to the skin. Not too bad, not too bad. We might be able to fit a creeper face on there. I'm not 100% sure. I just think it might look a little weird. I don't know, maybe we'll try it out. Not sure, but I think that is enough for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was a lot of fun. We got a lot of work done around the base, but we still have a lot of work to do. So get excited to see that in future episodes of Lovecraft on the Mooncraft server. If you enjoyed today's episode, make sure you hit that like button. And if you really enjoyed it, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And as of this uh, video, we are up to 90 subscribers. So I really appreciate all your support on the channel so far. And I look forward to having even more fun with 
with guys in the future. I'll see you in the next one. That's going to do it for me today. Bye.